the beginning, I put together a team of MIT engineers to create a braille watch for the blind. Uh, we worked really hard for month and month. And once we had a concept prototype, we took it to a blind user group for testing. Before we even started, one person said, Hyungsoo, did you know that only 10 to 20% of people who are blind can read braille? So I doubted what I heard because so many people become blind later on, on their lives due to disease or accident. They don't develop a good sense of touch required to read braille. So my team was ignorant of such facts. That was track one. And after that, people kept asking questions like, how big is it? What is the material? What is the color? So this surprised me again and made me feel very embarrassed to realize that I wrongly assumed they would care mostly about the functionality and much less about the looks. Why did I assume a positive correlation between not being able to see and not wanting to look good? I was wrong and there was strike too. And the last question people asked me was, is it specially designed only for the blind? And I said yes and expected a positive response this time because we all like special limited design products. But they said, Hyungsu, you got it wrong again. That's not what we want. What we want is what everyone else also likes. The label designed for the blind. It draws attention to our disabilities and it separates us. It builds a wall between us and others. I never thought about that. So they was strike three and we are out. So this time I invited people with all different backgrounds and abilities, disabilities. So product designers, engineers, architects, students, teachers, and people who are blind uh, to be a part of the design process. So the goal this time was to create something that looks beautiful, yet also functionally accessible to both people who are blind and people who are sighted. And that's why we are called E1, which is short for everyone. Text reading. A large rose tree stood near the entrance of the garden. The roses growing on it were white, but there were three gardeners. Face recognition. Jane. Money notes detection. $50. Product identification. Oatmeal Square Cinnamon. Barcode. Sausalito Cookies, 7.2 ounce bag. Color detection. Gray area. Telling time and date. The time is 6.13 p.m. Today is Wednesday, July 19, 2017. Mealtime brings people together. 
It's more than a time for nourishing the body. We nourish our spirit and our relationships. But tremor, whether from essential tremor or Parkinson's disease, takes away from this experience, forcing people to focus instead on the basic task of eating. We decided to create something that would allow people to go out to restaurants or simply enjoy a meal without stress. We invented the Liftware Stabilizer to make it easier to eat with hand tremor and take the frustration out of eating. For the first time, we have the technology to actively stabilize the utensil in a device so small it fits in your hand. The Liftware device works by sensing a person's tremor and intelligently stabilizing itself to make the food's journey from the plate to the mouth much easier. Liftware is designed to be a part of your life. The device is small and portable, so that you can easily take it with you when you go out to eat. It's comfortable and effective because Liftware allows the hand to shake while the cancellation technology and the handle stabilizes the spoon. In a clinical trial, we measure an average of 70% reduction in spoon tremor in individuals with essential tremor during three different eating-related tasks. It's easy to clean and holds a charge for several meals, so you can place it in the charging cradle whenever is convenient. We are proud to offer a product that allows people to take control of their tremor. When you eat with liftware, your tremor retreats into the background of the meal so you can focus on the best parts of dining, the food you're eating, and the people you're eating with. We can't wait to bring liftware to your life. We live in an era of touch to communicate. But what if we lose the sense? Meet Glasshouse version 1.1. An assistive device to connect computers, mobile phones, tablets and smart TVs via Bluetooth. Born as regular glasses, Glasshouse version 1.1 has a bite switch to do the clicking actions via simple bites. Glasshouse enables those who have limited movement abilities to use technology hands-free. We live in an era of connection to communicate, and Glasshouse makes it hassle-free.